today I'm going to be doing a water droplet. I had asked in a previous video, the Purple Rain video, if anyone was interested in me painting a water droplet. And uh, so here I am. A couple of things. Uh, this was a previous pour. These were a practice pour. Turn up beautifully except for the middle here. So that's exactly where I'm going to be doing these drops. Colors I got as um, acrylics, of course, black and white. And then I have a little bit here mixed with some medium. You can mix them with uh, water to water them down. And I've got colors based on what this is. So if you were to do, say, like Purple Rain, for, in for instance, you would need darker purples and lighter purples. Um, so colors that match what you're doing. So you're going to start off by doing your darker color first. You're going to just make a couple of rings. Or well per per one, so I'll show you. So we're just gonna outline this here. And this is basically the outline that would be showing at the base. Uh, it's kind of like a shadow of your on the inside base of her droplet. I'm painting them in areas that look natural um, to the painting, as well as where they would they may naturally flow. So this is where my light I want to be coming in. So anything where your light's coming in this way, it's going to be reflecting the light at the bottom of the opposite side. Um, so I'm taking this more translucent white, and then I'm going to do about the bottom. Kind of maybe start pretty thick, and then move up. I'm going to add one more over here. A little off. Okay, so again, I'm just adding this translucent white to the bottom. I'm going to have that go up. So you want it translucent because you want to kind of see through what you have at the bottom. So for this one, for instance, it's just plain white. So we're going to leave that. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of gold to the middle. And this is also um, translucent, this mixture color, or the gold rather. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that one's got color, so I'm going to leave that. Add some color. This one too. That one's good. And so I'll add a little bit over here. So again, we're going to take that translucent water, water white, and work that up. Adding a little bit more water so I can Pull that out just a little bit, that white. All right. So once you get your black circle, your base of the, the shape of your water drop, then you're gonna do the highlighting, which is reflected to the bottom because the light's coming from the top to the bottom. And then you're gonna use similar colors to what you're, what's underneath. And you can go lighter or darker with that. So now we're going to do the top. So the, dark, the top is going to be a little darker. I'm going to do this gray that I mixed up. So that'll be up here. And then again, we're going to run that down too. It's going to be a little more translucent in the middle so it can fade out. So that's a little, this one's a little odd. So even though it's a drop because it's going sideways, we're going to be doing kind of the top or the side there. And then we'll do this one. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna kind of mix it down and blend it out. Water. 
too much. And these can be as, um, they can be very fine. This one's a little loose, so I'm going to kind of stay in with that. But you can make, you can be very detailed with it. All right. So, and of course, they also will have a shadow. So, what you're going to do is take the similar color, your top color, your, your darkest kind of matching color and then you're just going to make an outline at the bottom and this is where on the other side of where the light hits and you don't have to have them all to have a, make them all have a shadow rather um it just it get, puts a little more detail in it and these are more like droplets that are dropping from something and you know like it rained and it's drying up and it's running down so that's not very good there so just a little bit of shadow you don't have to have a lot like that one's pretty thick just a little bit okay now let's do this Okay, so last, you're going to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of doing these in a big hurry, so you can really take your time and, like I said, make them as detailed as you want. So you're going to, so this is the top part. This is where the, you're going to make the highlight where the top part of your bubble or your water droplet or rain droplet is hitting so the light is really reflecting on that so you want that the whitest white and you may even put a little another one right beside it that's a little wet I'm gonna let that dry for a second so we're just gonna do this one So I can tell that's a little wet still, so I'm just going to redo that. Something happened there. I think I put too, way too much water. So I'm going to get that to set to dry. You can even round it out a little bit. A little bit more. may have already drawn too much but yeah okay and now again I'm gonna put that like that cool all right so and if you want to come down here and do a tad bit more white I mean just a hair make it pop just a hair a little bit more really fine line there okay don't really like how that one turned out that's okay now last you can go in and put a couple of drops on here random drops you can do it with the white or the black. Just remember a lot of these will be in clusters. So 
So what you'll do is you'll just go back with your black. Oh, let's write that out. Yep, my gray. Do with your black. You can even do with the gray. And then you're just going to go in here and put a little dark on that. And you can do it the reverse too, so that's up to you. Okay. So there's the water droplets, or rain droplets. Okay, let me know what you think.